Hi there, I'm playing a game on the internet. It's a five minute game. I'm gonna try to comment and play at the same time. So I'm trying to get into the Slav here and which will happen if black plays c4 and uh, d4 but here he changes the setup a little bit so against bishop sorry against queen c2 I'm planning to play bishop f5 and that might might be useful he's delaying d4 so I'm not sure how to react to that exactly yeah the problem is my bishop on c7 on c8 doesn't have a good square but I'm gonna try and occupy the center and uh, see if I can hold on to it it will be difficult of course because white will immediately begin to put pressure on it one way or another so now tempting is rook c1 maybe and no he just kind of goes for the slow development more or less now the challenge the question is can I put the bishop on b7 I'm a little slow with that because of rook c1 and let's try anyway <laughs> if I could just finish development with bishop to b7 and rook c8 I'll probably be okay the problem is rook c1 and immediately against bishop b7 there's queen c7 as it is he's still coming to c7 I don't really have a good way to stop that unless yeah, I'm not sure why the delay in terms of playing rook c1 that seems like the most obvious move My plan is to play now bishop a6 and then a4, sorry, and then e4, trying to kick the support from that bishop. So putting pressure on me immediately here. One way is to exchange and then play bishop a6. The other way is to play bishop a6 immediately. That could be met pleasantly with try this. Now if I could put the queen on the rook on c8 quickly that might be to my advantage even if I drop the d5 pawn. No. This intermediate move should help me to regain control of the c file and recapture on d5 late, later on without hopefully dropping things. If the d3 pawn remains where it is, it's going to be a weakness. But what will happen after b5 simply? I'm not entirely sure. It's just a peace sacrifice. I don't see a good response. All he gets in return for the pawn is. Hmm. Well, he will get two strong pawns. Maybe that's the idea. But I think in the short term, I don't even have to give him that. There's really no hurry, as, as far as I can tell, for me to win this. Peace, but I mean, I can't delay it too much. But I can still play this probably and hope to get away with that in the sense that <laughs> well now the queen should really go away his queen should, should retreat now and then
because otherwise I'll be able to get the d5 pawn back. I should not ignore the time factor. So this is a no increment game, so... There's increasing pressure on e5. But I can defend that, and I'm still, still hoping to regain that piece. It's a little unfortunate. I think I should be able to do this. Mm, might have miscalculated a little bit because there's not bishop to a3. No, there isn't. I don't really. I think I just want a piece essentially for nothing. So now I just need to play quickly and not, not lose on time. My, my knight now should. Well, he resigned. Or she. So that was kind of interesting. Uh, the instructive moment here is not to not to regain the piece too too quickly. Because here, if I recapture, he would then recapture with the d pawn, and then he would have a strong chain of pawns that would isolate my bishop away from the game, and that might it it could have made it more difficult to convert the material advantage. But by delaying it and uh, playing for activating my pieces. It's a little bit easier for black to um, you know, convert the material advantage. And once once the position stabilizes, basically, of course, um, white had to resign. So that was interesting. <laughs> 